Phil Casper back at Garfield School. It is Kansas Heritage Heritage Day, joined by a couple of more students, Cameron Smith and Jordan Schnell. And Jordan, we're going to go a little out of order. We've been going ladies first, but you said Cameron's going to go first. So we'll start off with Cameron. Cameron, first, tell me who your parents are. Yvonne Smith and Dana Smith. All right, and you're going to tell me about the Santa Fe Trail, right? Okay, go ahead. Tell me what you know. The Santa Fe Trail started in Independence, Missouri. The trail ended in Santa Fe, Mexico. The trail started so the traders could sell their merchandise, such as medicine, fabric, plates, pencils, and clothes. So 500 miles went through Kansas. The trail took 50 to 60 days. All right. Cameron, thanks a lot. Uh, who's your teacher? Mr. Brummett. Mr. Brummett. And what's some uh, something maybe you're looking forward to doing today, or maybe you've already done it, or maybe you don't know? Not sure. What have you done so far? We did the Pioneer. So, Pioneer game. Pioneer game is pretty fun. Okay. Well, Jordan, let's get to you. And this is Jordan Schnell. And Jordan, tell me who your parents are. Alex and Stephanie. Alex and Stephanie. And you're also going to tell me about the Santa Fe Trail, right? And your teacher is also Mr. Brummett? Yes. Okay. Tell me about the Santa Fe Trail. They travel by wagon, pulled by 10 to 12 mules. The wagon controlled about 6,000 pounds of goods. William Becknell was the founder of the Santa Fe Trail. The trail was also used by stagecoach lines, thousands of gold seekers heading to the California and Colorado gold fields, adventurers, fur trappers, and immigrants. But they traded with cloth of many kinds like Caliso, Cambrai, Dimity, flannels, gingham, linens, muslin, silk, tails, and silk. Other goods were Needles, threads, buttons, shawls, handkerchiefs, knives, tiles, glasses, tools, and even green spectacles. All right. Well, Jordan, it seems like you've learned quite a bit leading up to Kansas Heritage Day, right? Yeah. Okay. And something you're looking forward to or maybe you've already done today? Going to the one-room schoolhouse. Uh, the one-room schoolhouse. Always a fun time. Well, guys, you did a great job. I sure enjoyed having you on the air. Thanks for coming to talk to me. That's been Cameron Smith and Jordan Schnell at Garfield School. It is Kansas Heritage Day.